This is Sakhalin Island, off Russia's far northeastern coast. It's a land of great natural beauty, with a unique and highly sensitive environment. In winter, temperatures can dip to minus 40 degrees centigrade, with blizzards frequently causing total whiteouts. It was in this challenging climate that Exxon Neftegas set out on the Sakhalin 1 project. Its aim to process 250,000 barrels of oil a day. The associated gas would be separated out with natural gas supplying consumers in Russia's Far East and the remainder being re-injected into the reservoir. Meanwhile, the oil would be shipped via pipeline to a terminal on the Russian mainland. Technically and logistically, the project posed some tough challenges. To design and build a new onshore processing facility, or OPF, Exxon Neftegas needed a proven and reliable contractor. They chose Fluor, who began work in June 2003. One of the key project decisions was whether to use the typical stick-built construction approach or a modular installation. The chosen solution was to use a modular construction approach for the majority of the OPF, bringing it down into 36 separate modules. To help in this demanding work, Fluor's design teams in Houston and New Delhi were able to draw on a considerable pool of local knowledge and expertise. The project contains significant Russian content. We work closely with a number of Russian design institutes and Russian regulatory agencies to perform the engineering and design of the stick-built portion of the project and to ensure the design met all Russian regulatory requirements. We also engage a significant number of Russian vendors and contractors. Our construction workforce was over 75% Russian. But this was a project on a global scale. This is Ulsan, South Korea, where Hyundai Heavy Industries were entrusted with the fabrication of the modules. Each was a large and complex piece of work in its own right, weighing up to 1,700 metric tons. This was the project that never slept. Our project execution spanned the world time zones each day as our work progressed from Moscow to New Delhi to Ulsan to Chivo to Houston and back to Moscow. To coordinate all the different groups involved on this project, we developed a very sophisticated communication system and integrated project execution platform. This was one of the most advanced systems of its kind ever used on a project. It linked all the participants with over 20 construction contractors on Sakhalin Island. The construction teams began work in 2004 and went on right through the winter. The pace of progress had to be fast, because sea lifts would only be possible between June and September. With such a narrow window, it was vital that everything on site was made ready for the arrival of the first batch of modules. Nineteen modules arrived during the summer of 2005. They rolled in like clockwork and were expertly manoeuvred into position. Once again, Construction work went on through the winter, preparing the site for the second batch of modules. These two arrived right on cue in the summer of 2006, and they were swiftly and accurately set in place. At the end of September, just 80 days after the last module was offloaded and a little ahead of schedule, the OPF was mechanically complete. Soon the first gas was flowing into the new facility. It had taken years of hard work and a great deal of expertise in planning, engineering, construction and commissioning to bring the project to this stage. The design and construction teams had met many tough challenges along the way and overcome them efficiently and with an outstanding safety record. The onshore processing facility was now ready to play a key role in the Sakhalin 1 development, helping Exxon Neftegas to deliver oil and gas to markets across Russia and around the world. 